Today you will learn how to read GPS speed by this gauge. You will learn and you will able to repeat it uh, with your gauges. I'm sure I will explain why. So this is Mercury SC1000 gauge and I have a Lawrence unit that can provide GPS speed. You may have another unit, it doesn't matter. Again, you will soon understand why. So, the information is quite public. This is the Lawrence website and NMIA uh, 10183 network and that's how it is designed. If you have some other unit, not Lawrence, you just search for the schematic of the unit. If you are zero in electronic, I will explain. It's quite easy. Remember this transmit line plus and ground. Well, basically transmit. We want to read speed here. It means that we want to receive it. And the unit transmit the speed to the network. Yeah. So the only line we are interested in is transmit line which is yellow in case of Lawrence. Again, if you have another unit, just search what line is um, transmit line. Here is this yellow. And we transmit to the receiver. Where is the receiver of this unit? Sorry, guys, I have a little flu. That's why it's my voice this. Maybe it's a kind of better even. So, you have this harness, yeah, where you connect this gauge, and you have this virus, and they are uh, marked as and Mia 0183 because this is specifically designed to provide and Mia GPS speed through this network to this gauge. And we have two cables there one is receiver, and believe me, it is that one blue and white. I don't want to search for the manual now. So it is receiver. We provide, we transmit to the receiver. It's quite clear. That's it. And of course we always have ground. In any uh, circuit we have ground. The ground is blue here and there is a bear. Bear. Beer. Beer. Bear cable. Yeah. The one that is screen around, I already uh, use, use the shrinking tube to cover this, but it's here. So guys, we are not interested in these cables, in case of Lawrence, only yellow to transmit and only bare, bare cable for the ground. This one connects to the blue and then to the ground, to the ground and transmitter. To the receiver that's it guys you already can like and subscribe i will explain more for those who uh, can withstand to listen that english so um yeah here is your schematic um i'm building i'm building a solution here uh, this uh, junction box the third one in this board, by the way, yeah, it's still winter here. I cannot go out fishing. So, and I'm doing this and me in a smarter way. Yeah, so here is the Lawrence uh, connector, traditional uh, blue one. The red one, uh, sometimes supplied without and me, the modern one, without this old and me network. Yeah. But the blue one is two cables. One is for power and one for this and me network. So, uh, I have two cables here. And because the junction box, then I want to uh, come here with the cable 2 by 0 0.75 millimeters. I think it's gauge 20, 22, something like that. Yeah, to here and connect this to cables, mark them. I have some shrinking tubes for marking and on another end on another end I will s uh, connect uh, I will put a Deutsch connector so Deutsch connector for two here and Deutsch connector here that's how I plan to do this
So I did this unified connection as you have noticed. So it's the DTM Deutsch connector, awesome connector. Watch the video. If it's ready, there will be the link. Subscribe. If there is no yet video, it will come. I don't know yet. Uh, subscribe to see it. And guys, your subscriptions and comments, they encourage me to share that content with you. Uh, English is not my main language. I usually write uh, these things as a note for myself, but I don't need this on two languages. So uh, I don't know if I don't have feedback from you. And the best feedback are comments and subscription because they encourage to grow and share this kind of content with you. If I don't see it, then no reason to share. Well, I think you got the point. Uh, thank you. Have a good day. Fishing season. Bye. Anybody find me somebody to love?